So in this particular problem, we want to know how far a boat will be placed into the water uh, in such a way that it will go down, but it won't sink. It's it's gonna go it's gonna go into the water, but it's not going to. Some of it will still be above the surface. So I guess maybe draw a real quick picture. There's the water. There's my raft. So a portion of it is sticking up. We don't know how much. So this is so in this case the raft is partially submerged. We can still think about this in terms of forces, because there's a buoyant force up. There is the weight of this object down. Um, so the buoyant force equals the weight. I want to draw off to the side here the relationship between density, mass, and volume. Density is mass times volume we can rewrite mass in terms of density times volume as I do here and if we're gonna have to use that fact to sort of break this thing down for each of these things mg this is the buoyant force side this is the weight of the object side since weight is mass times gravity and density is I'm sorry mass is density times the volume of the object we can go over here and I'm going to make that substitution so instead of writing mass I'm going to write this is the density of the raft which we know to be 803.3 .3, times its total volume regardless of the fact if it's in the water or not times gravity um, over here we have the density of the liquid that the object is in times only by the amount of volume that is displaced by the boat. Now you're going to say, well, I don't know what that is because if the raft isn't entirely in there, there's a small portion sticking up, uh, the volume of the of the liquid is not the same as the volume of the raft. That's fine. We're going to break things down here in a second. But what I want to point out, gravity is on both sides of the, this equation. Gravity is going to disappear. It's not, well, not disappearing, but it's mathematically working itself out of the picture. We know the density of water is 1,000. 1 times 10 to the third kilograms, so 1,000 goes right here. Uh, the density of the raft is 803.3, okay, uh, and then of course multiplied by its volume. Its volume is going to be, since it's a raft, we assume it to be a rectangular prism, so length times width times height, so 3 times 1.5 times. 0.12 length, width, height. For the raft, for, for I guess the amount of water displaced by the raft, here's what we do know. If we have a rectangular prism, the bottom of the surface area of that rectangular prism is the only thing, the bottom, so this piece right here, the bottom of that is the only thing that is going to be consistent regardless how deep it is in the water. So if I push this thing down, you know, one centimeter, I'm still having that length times width pushed out of the way. If I push it down 10 centimeters, I'm still having this length times width pushed away. So this length and this width that the raft is, is actually the same length and width as what the water is being displaced. So actually mathematically, that is going to disappear as well. This, what's going to change though is the height that the raft sits in the water dependent upon the density of the water uh, in the density of the raft. So I write a y, you know, a variable y. I don't know what it is. So again, mathematically, these two terms go away. And what I'm left with is 1000 y equals 803.3 .3 times. 0.12, and then we're going to divide both sides by a thousand. Divide both sides by a thousand, and let me get this to work here. By doing some quick math, we can see that the boat only, or the raft only sinks 0 0.0964 r meters into the water which is 9.64 centimeters into the water. So that would be how you solve that particular problem.